Dustin Boyd, president of RV Sigma. We wanted to design a program that started with training administrators, training teachers, followed by training students, um, giving both time to uh, work on key projects. Uh, along the way, we, um, we decided to try to spearhead a career fair, uh, which we did later on in the project. And then ultimately this program ends with a train the trainer program so that we impart the wisdom of Lean Six Sigma to the district and then they can train their teachers, train their students, train other administrators. I'm Dr. Ed Klein. I'm the assistant superintendent here at Chardon Local Schools. As I've engaged with education and systems and organizational change, continued studying and learning more about Lean Six Sigma uh, through partnerships, met up with RB Sigma, and saw that this was something that may be applicable to what we are doing in Chardon and how we are becoming more efficient and effective in the use of our resources. Also saw that there would be applications for curriculum for our kids, looking at what we can do to provide industry-recognized credentialing. The simulation that we use during the training is hands-on. We literally run the simulation on the first day. It's very realistic manufacturing setting. And then we learn the tools that can be directly applied to those problems. So I was a part of a project with Dr. Klein and we were working on the transportation problems that are occurring at Park Elementary up on the square. So we were tasked to apply lean to it and see if we can make it more efficient for the parents. And it was a really great experience getting to work with the school board members along with the principal at Park and fellow students. Oh, I was super excited about the students getting trained because I thought that what an opportunity it would be for our kids to learn, you know, real, real world applications and to learn how to make themselves before they left high school uh, in the mindset of a business and getting efficient in, in real world practices. I am Bailey McKnight. Uh, I work at PCC Airfoils. You know, every person that, that is in an engineering quality operations role has a quality as a college background and very few of them have any Six Sigma background that you know we have a bunch of very smart very technical people that don't know how to tie it together and once once people start going through Six Sigma programs that's when like the light goes on on how you how you can actually take you know apart from the first stage to shipping out the door and optimize everything in between there. What, what we're looking for in the co-op program is, is people that we can take right out of high school uh, and, and kind of groom them into the employees that, that we need to succeed here. At the job fair, we did a few interviews. We had actually two students came here for a tour of the facility, which we, we sat down and talked to them for a little bit. And the ones that we talked to were very prepared and very eager to, to go to the next step. I am Douglas Murray, principal of Chardon High School. The more I've been talking about Lean, the more I've been talking about our 4 E's, and the more that they see, oh wow, our hall passes are working. We took every single student in our system, put them into a form, and they use a QR code, they check in or check out of their room and check back in, and we know where they are at all times. For our master schedule, that is the greatest thing that I could offer a principal or a district leader, is how can you make your master schedule more efficient? I believe in the principles of Lean and Six Sigma, and I believe that every educator, particularly in administration, should at least inquire on how they can learn more about it or connect with RB Sigma so that they can look at ways that they can become a better school district. If anyone comes in and, and says, I would love for just a conversation about Lean, conversation about Six Sigma. How can we make this apply to you, your school? I would say call us a Chardon because we don't have a lot of resources, but what we do with our resources is apply these principles so that we become even more efficient in what we do. 